she told me that my mom had passed. It was probably as hard a night as I've had as a coach, and he was just crying uncontrollably. And he looked at me and said, Coach, you don't understand. I don't have anybody. I showed up to the shooting room, and I told him I wanted to play. I look around, grown men, ladies, kids, students, little ones, I mean, just tears. With new ways to take the drug, like through a vaporizer, marijuana has been rebranded as a natural herbal therapy packed with healing power. And so all of a sudden, you know, the front row starts chanting, Garrett Carp. We want carp. Garrett Carp. Oh no, <laughs> is this gonna happen? Initially, things went very well. Uh, the tumor shrunk, but in November, things began to change and there was progression of his problem. Knowing that Gibbons is already building the foundations, Danoon wastes no time in firing up the fans. If the tests reveal the wind loads are higher than predicted, the foundations already in the ground may have to be redesigned. To be putting in the foundations before we could finish the wind tunnel testing. That always gives us a little bit of cause for concern. Danoon is right to be worried. He knows how high altitude wind impacts on very tall rectangular skyscrapers. But Uldar HQ's lower height means another type of wind is the threat. And what we're doing is challenging these devices with all sorts of different human pathogens. And what we study here are the ones that make us sick. These include tuberculosis, several types of bacteria that cause different types of pneumonia. They also include several types of viruses, those that cause flu or the common cold. We take the filter media itself and we infect it with lots of viable bacteria. Put them in the actual filter and in the unit and then operate the unit as it was designed. Now we'll take the filters out of the machines. We take the media and wash it. This transfers bacteria to the clean water. We introduce these bacteria to petri dishes and watch it grow. Here's what happens after overnight incubation. The air in Denver is thin. Sometimes opponents find it hard to breathe. The same can be said for whoever defends me. They don't know if I'll stick them with a jumper or if I'll take them to the rim. Either way, pick your poison. Welcome to Geico Presents Golf's Best of 2011. Hi, I'm Gary McCord. The 2011 PGA Tour season has been a conduit for change. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. The prevalence of asthma is very high among the skating population, both speed skaters, figure skaters, hockey players. The rate of lung function decay is very similar to what you see in, in smokers, and heavy smokers. That was the plan nine days later after the team lost a January 27th game at Colorado. They were set to fly home out of Jefferson County Airport on three aircraft provided by Oklahoma State donors. Kyle Keller had a seat on the slowest plane, a 25-year-old Super King Air turboprop similar to this one that the team had been using for years. Nate was set to leave on another plane, but at the last minute, there was a change of plans. King Air traffic is now at your 3 o'clock, 2 miles. Ten people boarded the King Air. Nate was joined by his teammate Daniel Lawson, four members of the basketball staff, two members of the broadcast crew, and two pilots. I saw every one of them looking at me through the window. That is not a great feeling. 14 months after Lisa's murder, they succeeded. The U.S. Attorney's Office set up a federal task force. ATF Special Agent Don Flickinger was named lead investigator. He tried smoothing things over with Sheriff Ketchum. I placed several phone calls to him to come down and meet with him and explain to him that we were not coming into this case to take over the case. We were coming in to just offer our resources. John Swarner is a mountain climber, but his specialty is survival. There's a saying that the human body can survive for roughly 30 days without food. The human body, you know, the human condition can live for about three days without water. 
but no human alive can survive for more than 30 seconds without hope because without hope we have nothing. This is the way life is meant to be lived. I look at our family, I, I want to make sure that Lori and I have done a good job of not just providing uh, for them materially, uh, but we want to make sure we've taught them the values and, and the core beliefs necessary that they can go out there and have success in their own way. When you can really change a life, when you can help a, a family stay together, then boy that to me makes all the difference in the world and, and that's what it's really all about. When he was three, Phil played his first complete round. On the tee at 18, a par five known as Cardiac Hill, his young eyes welled up. He looked up and he said, Dad, why don't you want to play this hole? He says, well, isn't this the last hole? I said, yeah. He says, well, if we play this hole, we'll be all done. Seven blocks is all it takes. Seven blocks to walk from the memorial to the NBA playoffs. I walked through the bombing memorial grounds on my way to the arena. And I have a purpose in that. You can't help but think about how this community has answered that terrorist attack. There's two reactions to this, and it was either gonna be uh, you're down and you're on your knees, or literally uh, something would, would rise from the ashes. Literally, we would rise from the ashes. The city built a memorial to the people who lost their lives. Empty chairs representing the victims. They built a photo gallery honoring them further. They built a reflecting pool where the street outside the federal building used to be. And over the next decade, citizens approved sales tax after sales tax so they could rebuild the downtown area, including the construction of an NBA caliber arena. I'm Kelsey Ward. I went to Drury University and I was a swimmer. Ultimately, I want to end up working for Doctors Without Borders. That's my ultimate goal, which is an organization that sends doctors where they're most needed. That's something, for whatever reason, that I would love to do. I see some change is inevitable and I would like to be part of trying to shape that change because I guess I care that much about my landscape and my community. I'm not going to throw up my hands. The American Prairie Foundation says it is not looking to push out ranchers like Dale just to give back some of this land to its original inhabitants, preserving a part of America's rich natural legacy for future generations.